As of April 19, 2020, the World Health Organization reported a total of 2,241,778 confirmed cases of COVID-19 globally, with 152,551 deaths. There are now 821,860 confirmed cases in the region of the Americas. As of April 20, 2020, St. Lucia has a total of 15 confirmed cases of COVID-19. Of these 15 cases, 13 of them have recovered to date and have been discharged from hospital care, two of whom were repatriated to the United Kingdom earlier in April. So at present, we only have two positive cases in isolation at the respiratory hospital. Our last confirmed case was reported on Friday, April 10th, 2020. And since then, of the 58 tests run, all have been negative for COVID-19. Though we at the Ministry of Health are heartened by the, these data trends, we note that this should not provide us with a false sense of security and allow us to believe that we are no longer at risk for the COVID-19 outbreak. It is our awareness of this that drives our public health team to continue to work intensively in implementing all of the core components of our health sector response, which includes testing, isolating, treatment and care, contact tracing and public education. We appeal to every individual to keep strict adherence to the infection prevention and control guidelines, which continue to be issued by the Ministry of Health, as these, though simple, are inexpensive and effective methods to reduce the risk for spreading COVID-19. St. Lucia continues to be on partial shutdown and 10-hour curfew, which spans the period from 7 p.m. to 5 a.m. daily. We are still at a critical juncture in the implementation of the national COVID-19 response. As such, be mindful that everyone, with the exception of essential service workers, are required to remain at home unless leaving for food or medical purposes. There should be no mass crowd events and social gatherings. These measures collectively help in achieving the physical distance required to reduce the risk of spreading COVID-19 within our population. The public is also advised against going to public places with flu-like symptoms, which include fever, coughing, and sneezing. When visiting the supermarket or public places, wear your homemade mask. Practice shopping first with your eyes instead of your hands. Refrain from touching items unless you intend to buy them. We continue to request that every individual practice the standard recommendations to prevent the spread of infection. And these include regular hand washing with soap and water or alcohol-based hand sanitizer when soap and water is not available. Also to cover your mouth and nose with disposable tissues when coughing and sneezing. And avoid close contact with anyone showing symptoms of respiratory illness such as coughing and sneezing. Also, seek medical attention and share your travel history with your healthcare provider if you have symptoms suggestive of respiratory illness. You can visit our respiratory clinics or call one of the clinical medical lines for advice. The Department of Health and Wellness will continue providing regular updates on COVID-19.